in my father's house. Today is Mother's Day. Maybe it's just me, but it seems as though when you're talking about a house, a place of comfort and hospitality, you don't talk about going to dad's house. You say you're going to mom's house, unless of course mom isn't around anymore. I know when Sandy and I talk about going to her parents' house, we say we're going to her mom's place. Her dad is still there. As he says these days, he's going on 92. He says, I'm still here. Well, even though he's still here, we say we're going to mom's. Maybe I'm being stereotypical, but I associate warm, loving, comforting place full of hospitality and good food and chocolate chip cookies with mom's place or grandma's place. But here in our reading, Jesus says, do not worry, do not be afraid, for in my father's house, there's room for you. Last week, we talked about how comforting the 23rd Psalm is, that it is often chosen for funerals. So is John 14. The 23rd Psalm gives us comfort when we are facing the unknown, and maybe it's through the protection of the Good Shepherd. Jesus' discussion with the disciples in John 14 offers us something else. Something else that the disciples who are concerned about. A place to stay. A place to be. For years, Sandy and I lived in a parsonage. There were pluses and minuses in living in the church's property, but as a whole, I didn't have any problem with it. Some of my colleagues who finally got their own homes remarked how different it was, how different it made them feel. But I couldn't relate. Although Sandy would say, where are we going to live when we retire? When we got to Cannon Falls, we bought our own home. And my colleagues were right. It makes a difference. Someday, I imagine, if I live long enough, I'll be moving to some kind of an apartment, and that'll be OK. But while I'm living here, there, there is a real sense of security in having your own place. This is why Jesus is comforting the disciples and us with this promise. In my Father's house, there are many rooms. Jesus knows that, and we see how the disciples are going to, when Jesus leaves, they're going to be thrown into helter-skelter. We also need comforting words when we have to leave this world, when we have to face the end of our life. We need to know that there's a place for us. Again, that's why people choose this reading, this promise for funerals. It's comforting. We want to know that our loved ones have a place. And truth be told, we want to know that we have a place as well. Have you ever heard about when a preacher and a taxi cab driver arrived to heaven at the same time? And St. Peter is showing them where their place is. St. Peter takes the cab, taxi cab driver to his place first because it's on the way to the preacher's place. And the, when they get there, the preacher can't believe it. The taxi cab driver pretty much has a mansion on the lake. And the preacher's thinking, I can't wait to see my place. He imagined it would be really awesome. When he arrives, when they arrive at the preacher's place, he couldn't believe it. It was pretty much a shack. He asked St. Peter, how come? I was a pastor for 50 years serving the Lord and my congregation. St. Peter said, well, it all has to do with results. When you preached, people slept. When the taxi cab driver drove, people prayed. 
As I talked about, as I talked about in the Wednesday message, the promise goes beyond a place, a physical place. When Jesus says, in my Father's house, the word house in the Bible can also mean family. The house of David means David's family line, his descendants. Plus, the Greek word is better translated as dwelling places than rooms. What this means is that Jesus is comforting the disciples with the promise of not only a physical place, but a relationship with him. A relationship will, that will not end. We are the family of God. We are part of God's family. Jesus is promising that he will be with us. But it gets better than that. This promise isn't just about the time after death. This promise is also about now. This promise of Jesus is about being with us now and always. And it gives us comfort, confidence, and peace, not just at the time of death. This promise is for right now, even during the stay-at-home order. Like in baptism, the promise isn't just insurance when you die. It's something to hold on to throughout life. Even more comforting is the fact that Jesus says, there are many dwelling places. There is room in Jesus' heart for everyone, just like mom. This week, we had the graveside service for one of our members, Janice French. During that service, uh, her kids were talking about her. They were talking about how they would always try to get her to say that they were her favorite. She wouldn't have it. She would say, no, I love all my kids. Jesus, of course, is no different. Jesus loves all the children of the world, young and old, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious at his sight. That's why there's so many rooms, so many dwelling places. There is a place for you and for me now and forever. Amen.